We're back at it this morning, folks. <laughs> She's doing a great job this morning, working on telling time, aren't you? Elapsed time. Hey, Mama Selena for African Daisy. I am in teacher mode this morning. And, and Miss Chumichus is in student mode. And I'm getting cramps for some reason. <laughs> Doing a great job. Stay hydrated. <laughs> yes. Stay hydrated. <laughs> so, that's all we're up to, folks. This week, uh, I am out again <laughs> grocery shopping. And I know about stuff the other day, but I just bought like, you know, what was three things or four things. And I've been just buying like, just for this week. <laughs> Normally I buy in bulk uh, for, so I don't have to, you know, go grocery shopping a lot, but uh, we haven't been getting up early for school. Although Selena said <laughs> tomorrow morning, she wants me to wake her up early. So. We are winding down her school uh, in the States here. Uh, school is, um, so usually it's around May, June, around there is when people finish, um, unless you're homeschooling and you can finish earlier. I just got a few things right there. Picked up a few grocery items. So, I came back from shopping and look what the girls picked me. They picked me some pretty flowers. Good morning, good morning. Mama Selena for African Daisy. And this is the beautiful Miss Chumi Juice. <laughs> Doing her schoolwork. Don't mind the messy desk. I have my coffee. That is the job of the teacher. I am the teacher. I even have the parents guide here. I'm Selena for African Daisy. And it's another beautiful day on the farm. <laughs> uh, well, it is a beautiful day. We're, we're awake. I always tell Selena that we thank God that he wakes us up and he gives us another day to breathe and to live. <laughs> so it's beautiful. And so anyway, I wanted to, to just, I didn't have really much to say other than this morning, Miss Selena went with her grandmother and I, <laughs> She went to hang out with her grandmother and have a grand time with her. And myself, I was like, ooh, I can go out for coffee and do some Bible study. So I did, which was fabulous and was amazing. And, I, and that was great. And then I got back to the house and I found myself like bored. That's a little bored. I didn't know what to do or what to like it's not that there aren't things to do I could like you know but I, it's one of those days don't feel like doing anything <laughs> except what I'm not doing so anyway but then I was thinking if you can hear the birds chirping in the background it's beautiful and they're so happy and and then I was like and it's it's a cloudy uh rainy it's not raining, but it was cloudy and rainy. It rained like, I don't know, this morning or last night. And uh, so it's wet and cloudy. And of course, spring is here. So I was also thinking like, oh, you know when, when you're transitioning from cold, you know, from winter to spring, there's a shift, right? There's a shift in, in things. And so sometimes I think even in our life, there's shifts. And um, that happened and, and so anyway, so I was thinking about that, like maybe some of the, um, I think that's why we have to 
constantly remind ourselves or renew our minds. That's one of the reasons we have to renew our minds. Uh, so that in these moments, we don't get drowned with, we, we don't drown in our boredom or, you know, <laughs> in, in how we're feeling. So anyway, I just want to just want to encourage you all that uh, God is good. The birds are chirping and uh, we're alive another day. And so anyway, that's what I'm up to. I think uh, my dog to my dear husband and he's, he is driving, driving. And so anyway, so I think I'm going to go visit with my sister. I think that's a good thing to do on this cloudy, wet day. <laughs> so, see you later.